And President Trump will be front and center in all of it, Eric, and he will soon depart the White House for a rally in North Carolina after tweeting his reaction to the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Kevin Cork is live at the White House with more details. Hi, Kevin. Afternoon, Arthel. Nice to be with you. By any measure, the life and legacy of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is undeniably unique in the annals of American jurisprudence. In fact, the president said as much in his comments about her. Let me share part of a statement. But understand this, the adulation will no doubt give way to speculation as everyone wants to know not only who the president will select as a potential replacement for the, uh, the recently departed uh, Justice Ginsburg, but people will not want to know when. When is he going to ha go ahead and move forward here? As you see a live shot of the White House, you see the flag atop the building at half staff. Let me share part of that statement I told you about. The president said this about Ruth Bader Gin uh, Ginsburg. He said she was a fighter to the end. Uh, she battled cancer and other very long odds throughout her remarkable life. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Ginsburg family and their loved ones during this difficult time. May her memory be a great and magnificent blessing to the world. Here's White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany. And she paved the way, and I remember you always paid a little bit closer attention when it was a Scalia dissent, when it was a Ginsburg dissent. Uh, these people just left their legacy on the court. Ruth Bader Ginsburg notably going to law school. Her husband gets cancer. She's raising a three-year-old uh, on the law review. She really paved the way. She's made a place in American history that will never be forgotten. Justice Ginsburg, as you know, often a foil against the Trump administration and some of the big decisions on the high court. And yet, for all of the adulation, as I mentioned, a lot of people now are going to be saying, should we go forward? Should we not go forward? What will the White House do? Well, here's Chuck Schumer's thought on this. Last night, he said this on Twitter. He said, the American people should have a voice in the selection of their next Supreme Court justice. Therefore, this vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. Of course, referring to the election coming up in 45 days. By the way, the president could still be the president we have. Uh, keep this in mind. Let me share something he said back in 2016, and you see how people have sort of changed their tune. Back then, he said, attention, GOP. Senate has confirmed 17 Supreme Court justices in presidential election years. Hashtag do your job. You're going to see a lot of that back and forth between what we saw then and what we're hearing today, and that's on both sides of the political aisle. Uh, also today, we learned, Arthel, of a suspicious letter sent to the president. That letter uh, was intercepted, but we're told by sources that it may have had a material that could have been harmful to the president. Some people are reporting that it was ricin. Uh, I have not been able to lock that down as we continue our investigation here and our sourcing and trying to make phone calls to uh, pick that up. But I can share uh, an FBI statement uh, with you and with the folks at home. They said this, the FBI and our U.S. Secret Service and U.S. Postal Inspection Service partners are investigating a suspicious letter received at a U.S. government mail facility at this time. There is no known threat to public safety. Again, we're chasing that down. The unconfirmed reports that it was ricin. As soon as I get confirmation, I'll be sure to pass that along. But for now, back to you. Absolutely. Uh, thankfully, the FBI and Secret Service on top of their game. Yes, Kevin indeed. Cork. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. And now